This is Jason Smith of the Flensburg Files, and today I'm going to give you a guide to the suffix of I con E. I con E consists of an I, a consonant, and the E at the end of each word. And whenever you have the such consonants like I N E, I D E, Y D E, I C E, I Z E, I S E, I M E, I B E, or I K E, as well as Y and I E at the at the end, for example. Uh, then each word has a vertical pronunciation at the end, like ah. So if you ever think of, think about that, think, uh, think about the time you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you, say ah, when he wants to take a look at your tongue and the rest of your innards, you can think of this, uh, of this uh, pronunciation at the end here. Um, the origin and the rules on how to pronounce words with I, con, E at the end, you'll find in the Flensburg Files online blog. The theme, of course, is Dining in Stein in Schleswig-Holstein. There you'll, you'll have a chance to take a look at the, the rules and the origin of I, con, E, and then you can practice the following tongue twisters, which I'm about to give to you. All the exercises involving that are courtesy of yours truly here. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to give you some tongue twisters, and we're going to start off with our first I can E, and that is with I N E, and I N E and E I N are the same because they have the ein ending in each word. And the following tongue twisters is as follows: Two swines dine in Stein. Stein is in Holstein. Beer, two beer steins from Schleswig Holstein. Enshrined in turpentine, like a serpentine, whining to the swine while dining with wine in Holstein. The next one. This one I mixed together I D E Y D E Y N I E. In any case, you still have that I at the end. Like in the following tongue twister Clyde dyed his hide with dioxide. Clyde died from carbon monoxide. Dr. Hyde died his hide with peroxide. Dr. Hyde died from carbon dioxide. Where are Clyde and Dr. Hyde? They hide and confide to Heidi and take pride from the dye on the hide that they died from dioxide and not peroxide. The next batch deals with IBE. Jeff scrapped a jibe. Jeff subscribed to jibe. Jeff conscribed a bribe. Jeff unsubscribed. Jeff prescribed Jeff to jibe. Now Jeff starts to describe how jibe circumscribes a bribe and describes to a tribe how jibe and jibe describe how to circumscribe a bribe. Here we have the following with ICE at the end. Three mice stole the dice. The dice had spice on ice. Three mice had lice on the ice. Who gave advice at a price? The lice sliced the ice. And the mice were nice. And traded all spice with the lice for spice. To put on the ice. Now the mice and the lice are eating ice with spice. And gave advice for all spice. Eaten while on ice. I M E. Two mimes chimed in. A crime was chimed at bedtime. A mime did a crime at dinner time. A mime chimed about crime at night time. When bedtime chimed for the mime, it's crime fighting time at daytime. When a mime chimes about lime, stolen at lunchtime by a mime, that lime was worth a dime. Was it worth a crime? For a mime to steal a lime when it was lunchtime and halftime of a football match between mimes. Then we have ILE. Three juveniles pile the wood pile. Two crocodiles are in the Nile. Some while a mile of crocodiles saw a pile of reptiles. While the juveniles reconcile to the two crocodiles in the Nile, who are bile and riled because the reptiles became Gentiles, who tiled the mile of crocodiles while the two crocodiles swam into the Nile.
Then we have the words with IPE at the end. Two pipers swiped bagpipes. Two bagpipes were wiped by snipers. They griped about the bagpipes stripes and wiped the pipes with blowpipes. Now the pipers griped about the blowpipes. The handy pipes are way too ripe. The striped bagpipes look like cesspipes. The gripes turned to tripe. The pipers piped their bagpipes and blew the snipers into the stovepipe. They grab no more because the pipes are stripe and tripe no more they try. And then we have the endings with I-Z-E and I-S-E. We organize to unionize and socialize to romanticize and personalize to institutionalize and nationalize to legitimize and equalize to legalize and overcapitalize to monopolize and overspecialize to modernize and overdramatize to outsize and overemphasize to moralize and robotize and radicalize and vandalize to terrorize and universalize to unrealize and vitalize to vocalize and spiritualize to memorialize and stabilize to visualize its size of a globalized society. Are we done with our mouths yet? Are your mouths stretched out like Luciano Paparotti? I hope so.